Hey guys, now that Zombies Chronicles is out, we've been testing old glitches on some of the maps. And there was this one really popular one on Moon where you didn't have to wear a helmet. And you could go into any parts of the map without oxygen and not get downed. It also allows you to carry the hacker device and never lose it by having to put on a helmet. So it makes it kind of unlimited for you. Well, this glitch does still work. You need to have one player put on a helmet and then run out to the front of spawn and jump off the cliff right where we do here in this video. This does work up to three players. Say if you have four players in the game, one player has to stay back and you know keep the game going. The other three players can jump off the cliff. The person that has to stay behind to keep the game going is not gonna be able to do this glitch, but the other three players will be able to walk around the map anywhere and not have to wear a helmet. After all the players have jumped off the cliff and bled out like that right there, you wanna have this player take off the helmet and then immediately put it back on. And then they just need to finish the round and kill all the zombies and bring those players that jumped off the cliff back into the game. Originally, this glitch worked where you had to do this a couple of times to be able to glitch out those players, but now you only have to do it one time. Make sure this player has enough ammo to end the round and probably want to do this at really early rounds. And once this player kills the last zombie, the other players are going to spawn back in. And you'll notice that they're not going to be wearing the PES suits. They're just going to be in their normal clothes, and that's fine. They don't have to put one on because they are not susceptible to the no oxygen areas now. Again, this is great for having unlimited hacker abilities. You'll never have to lose it by putting a helmet on. But I just thought this was interesting to see that this one still worked and it's also a little bit easier to do now. I think you can lose this ability if you go put on a helmet, so just be aware of that. Or maybe if you completely bleed out and come back, you'll lose it. So hopefully this will help you guys out. Also, I've been getting a lot of questions from you guys wanting to know if the second edition crate is still available, and it is, and it was originally a mystery crate. I was, you know, hiding the items because I wanted to make it fun for you guys to open, but there's already been a lot of openings, so I went ahead and listed all the items on the page, and I've got a display here so you guys can see what everything is. You can check this out at glitchingqueen.com, and I'll also have this down in the description, and I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you next video.